Hey, this is Kalvin Murray. We've been here for a while. Welcome to Two Mics. Yay! <laughs> we hope to have a nice discussion on Trump and why Trump matters. So it's basically about the elections and maybe how they affect us. So it's not just about Trump too, for the sake of Trump. Mm. Yeah. It, so stay tuned. Yeah. Bye. Ati bye. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> anyway, so um, welcome to today's episode. I'm joined by uh, <laughs> Chai. <laughs> I'm trying to start a podcast and you're asking for tea. What is what? Oh yeah, for tea, eh? Today we are serving American tea. Like, what happened with Trump? So, Tito, let me ask you. Um, who are you supporting in this uh, previous election? Trump. You're Trump, support- Trump, Trump. You're supporting Trump. Yes. What happened? Why? Explain to me. You see, let me ask, before you actually say, um, I kind of also supported Trump. And I received a backlash. Please don't don't switch up on us right now. We are together in the Trump camp. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Why did you support Trump? There is first of all the the conservative uh, front, which um, I think it's 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 more of supporting the Republicans even more than Trump because yeah. So I think that's that's the strongest factor. And then I think Trump Trump brings something different to the table. He has a certain um, alphaness to him. What? He, an alpha male. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So you want to say all these other presidents were... Uh, Kina Obama, all of them were beaters. They're not alpha. Uh, no, I, mm-hmm. I think tr- Trump is Trump is an alpha in, in a very interesting way. Yeah, like he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't give a damn. He doesn't care. Mm. He, does, he does not care about um, the decorum. I don't know, a president should have. Not that, not that um, I I support that hundred percent. I think I think some 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 level of decorum is, is is nice, but he's not your typical politician who's all just about words. Yeah, for me, I feel like he's he's someone who who is about action and 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 results. But now you see, now the thing is, um, an argument that people have been having against him is the fact that um, it's a bit. In fact, I had a a, a very long. Um, I would say discussion on Instagram with someone. Instagram is the weirdest place to have a discussion with someone. That was not a discussion. Well, if it happened on Instagram, trust me, there were very long <laughs> compositions that were, that were typed. And uh, she is she is a conservative Christian, and uh, she was surprised that I mentioned that I was supporting Trump because um, she her concern was the things that quote unquote Trump stands for. Uh, uh, a misogyny, apparently. Um, apparently, Trump also stands for misogyny. Yeah, misogyny. And Biden doesn't. Just let's continue. Uh, let me give you my point. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so um, she was of the opinion that um, that Trump uh, is is not doesn't look or sound uh, or produce things from his mouth and his actions that a Christian embodies. Um, she was of the opinion that um, through his actions, um, Christianity has been brought to disrepute. And um, she was surprised that someone who claims to be a Christian can support Trump. So what do you think of, of now these issues of um, people who would question um, Trump's character as a deal breaker? for a choice of president. My response to that is uh, running a country is not just about the personality and, and character. Running a country is about policies. It's about um, the decisions that are made. Decisions about taxes, decisions about running the economy that affect people. As far as I'm concerned, if if I have a president who is willing to do what needs to be done, uh, for me, I don't, I don't care that much if he's pre- uh, presentable or not. Now, what about the fact that now, you see, uh, women will say um, he abuses women and he, he thinks women are things. Uh, you, you, there, there are clips of him saying um, and advocating for 
women abuse in one form or the other or objectifying women um you see now to very many people this doesn't look presidential and and remember as a president as a president you have a responsibility and uh, maybe Kevin Kabingu you can respond to this a, 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 a president you have a responsibility to inspire it's not just about leading it's not just about um you know uh making policy that brings jobs blah 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 but also inspiring hope uh in the community inspiring people to love uh being a citizens of the country so in that respect how do you think trump fared i think to me most like normal casual joe in whatever in the us doesn't care about that most of them actually think trump is better because he actually doesn't act presidential he acts like i know this kind of person but it's you see kevin uh, i would say uh, trump sub trump's base is what would agree with that statement but the fact that um a majority of americans have worked uh, to defeat him in a um, such big way could be an indicator that it was his unpresidentialness might not be a broader um a broader thing uh, uh, that appeals to everybody but probably that appeals to just his base i think weirdly enough it's it's more he's got it's mostly white people who didn't vote for him this time more minorities voted for him this time than before but kevin i don't also sorry to disrupt no, you. See, I'm, 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 it's like i'm trying to say yes the people who you are saying might be the ones who may be triggered by trump came out even more this time than they did last time but how many do you know the percentage of black people in the us it's 13% exactly yeah. do you know the percentage of latinos in the us i don't Six or seven? No, you know? no, it, they, are be, they are more than black people, but okay. slightly but around fifty. La- so you can't but say. But for Latinos, it's it's not the same. My, my point is, you cannot say that uh, it's it's majority minor. Uh, it's a, ma- a majority of Trump's vote yeah. are minorities. You no, no, no. That. I'm I'm not saying majority. Mm-hmm. I'm saying compared to last elections, mm-hmm. the way the way like minorities voted last time. Yeah. This time the percentages the, he had more percentage in each demographic of minorities than he had last time. It's only the white people that went down. So I, it's like the people who most people think um like people advocating or think are the ones who Trump uh, might hate Trump are actually the people who seem to be moving more towards him. Even I think most more often than not people are mostly selfish. Yes, you might say yes, he doesn't respect women and any but someone else will hear or tax breaks. Right. Um the way my bank account is set up, <laughs> I'll vote for Trump. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care for him. Yeah. I don't want to be 20 cent. Yeah. So it's there's that appeal like he said um that machismo machismoness he's saying this um something i was seeing they're saying it's hard for republicans to get someone like trump again now because trump is kind of like the first president in i don't say, i don't know maybe in recent history who actually did most of the things he will say they, like things republicans had been saying for years trump started doing and when he said mm-hmm. he'll move like the embassy for, to jerusalem Republicans have been saying that yeah he made it he got it done. So for many people even black people you'd see sometimes black people saying for once I'm getting jobs and all this during Trump's time. Yes all you guys um I think they also feel there's that hypocrisy of saying um okay you guys are saying that Trump or okay, he doesn't respect women and nini nini. We know this type of people. He's not perfect. That's what they'll say. And it's going. It's it's in USA. I think it all it all depends on who is the person being accused. Because when they're saying Joe, uh, Joe is sniffing women, no one cares. Yeah. But Trump talks about women. He'll grab them by the. No. Yes. No. He said, no, no, no. He said it. He that said is, it. That is presidential talk. We don't. We don't need presidential talk. <laughs> But, so I think uh-huh. it's that appeal of he. Him not being presidential that actually made him more appealing to people. 
he doesn't know what being presidential is so people are ah, i want that guy he's like me in fact i think i think i think trump knows what being presidential means he just doesn't um want to fit in the mold and the, what you've said is very true that uh trump achieved um quite a lot of bit actually um because whenever i'm having a discussion with someone on trump's achievements um the and i on on trump people focus so much on how he called africa certain names but the reality is africa and middle east countries are those whole countries ex whatever whole countries i don't want to use presidential uh, <laughs> talk uh, on the podcast um that's the reality we are perennially in a, 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 and every other time voting for horrible leaders who run down our countries who mm. steal from us we are even ourselves participating and aiding uh, uh the 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 decimation of our systems the decimation of our of of of, of our institutions by bribing by looking for ways to circumvent the systems mm. and essentially running down our our countries and when someone is bold enough to call out our countries and tell us why i don't want you people coming to my country you've destroyed your countries fix them and i remember there was a mm. discussion from um, the president of egypt um he was telling people he was uh, he, he, uh, he was uh, he, he was castigating um uh middle east countries for saying that trump is racist for not allowing muslims to go uh into um uh, the united states but the reality is and this might be not not be very politically correct the terrorists are from the middle east they are muslims right and uh, i'm saying the terrorists who do the but the thing mm. and uh um, <laughs> and and <laughs> these citizens are continually fighting each other they they do not want to fix their countries and then suddenly you are crying when um it's like where where you talk when you back you leave your house go play in the mud uh you and then when you come to my house i look at your mud and and i'm like no you're not entering my house with that mud go hang yourself you're calling me names i think mm-hmm. if you if you worked in any organization especially most of these companies you've seen how bureaucracies can cripple like s- some very small things can take several layers of bureaucracies just to get some very minor thing done so like how i see trump is trump um of course he's been very successful in business so and to get to the levels where trump was by the time he was deciding to get into politics it doesn't take um, a cheap a cheap a cheap man exactly. So I think Trump so um like all these inefficiencies in the government exactly mm. and and he ran for office um, in the debate there's this was telling there's this thing he was telling Joe um uh, Joe I ran because of you if you guys had done a good job <laughs> 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 I, I would not have run for president exactly and so, mm-hmm. and and for me that's 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 where I I fall in love with Trump mm. he's he's here to get things done mm. and 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 you see essentially um I was reading I was reading uh, some article that was saying that how the US Senate and uh, Congress was designed by the founding fathers as they called them was to essentially make them not work. It <laughs> they were they were designed that way to make sure that the constitution isn't uh changed to willy-nilly um to make sure that um we are not uh, creating a laws that are making a president extremely powerful. So you find that a law how 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 their their law making process happens is that a uh, a congress person who uh, let's say a law is starting from congress for example uh, mm. uh, the, the house the house of representatives so uh, a representative will draft the law it will go into the subcommittee mm. it will be voted for there and many laws die there because if it doesn't get a majority in the subcommittee it will not be discussed in the main house so many many laws die there if per chance it passes there and goes into the house of representatives again there are laws on the majority that can 
pass it. After it has passed that, it's now passed to the Senate. The Senate, the same thing happens. So they can vote to pass it. Uh, and if they vote to pass it, it's handed to the president who can veto it. Senate can veto the president's veto. Like it's the, the founding fathers of the United States structured um, Congress essentially to be um, quote unquote ineffective to make sure that we do not have tyrannical leaders coming up in the United States. And that's why Trump was an anomaly. Trump comes and he shakes everything up. He's looking for ways of going around Congress to get things done. And the beauty of Trump, and, and it's a challenge that Biden is going to realize, is that the moment you do not have a majority in, in Senate, because essentially Senate is... is um, the, the, let me explain why senators terms in the United States are six, six years and Congress is four or two years, depending on how you look at it, is the Congress was made to be senior. Uh, to be a congressman, you're supposed to be senior, to be older, to be wiser. So you're, you're supposed to make decisions that are not necessarily popular with the citizens. Uh, uh, representatives are supposed to pass policies that are popular with them. With the people, because you'll be answerable to them after two years. Mm. But now senators, they, they were elected to make sure that they are the parents of the United States. They will make decisions that might not be popular with the people, but are good for the country. So you'll find, um, so if you don't have a majority in Senate, essentially you might not get anything done. Because uh, if it's an appointment of, of, of officials, for example, they approve all presidential appointments. The president doesn't make, doesn't make the, uh, appointments willy-nilly at now ministers. Congress has to approve them. A majority, a majority of the Congress people, and that's why the, the, the speaker was saying mm. that they are going to frustrate Biden because unless Biden can get the two, um, the two uh, Georgia seats, he's going to be a very ineffective president. So my point is, um, the beauty of Trump's presidency is the fact that he looked for ways uh, of going around Congress. Things that they have always agreed is what we do. It might not be in law, but this is how presidents usually come. Like now this concession issue, it's not in law that a president must, must concede, but we kind of have always done this. So Trump is like, no, if it's not in law, go hang yourself. Okay, I wanted to say, um, on that concession issue, I feel like you see the u s the u s normally like to portray this image of America as this superior power mature. this this mature mature democracy that sh that should be able to lecture every other country on how to run around their affairs so I feel like the um, there's a good number of them who are embarrassed even about whatever Trump is doing because they feel like this is such a a stain or no even even when they are when they are, they are clear there's clear evidence of fraud and um, and election theft. There is no. I'll, I'm going to stop you right there. There is no evidence that, that there has what, been. What do you any, mean? There is no evidence. There is no evidence that there has been any um, election fraud. That's that's a fact. Because there has been evidence. No, no, no. You see, um, Tito, I'll tell you what. You never watched that video, did you? By Breabat, by these people who are Trump's trumpets. You see, the thing is, uh, the reality is, if. So you uh, watch another video by someone no, who doesn't no, support Trump? No, no, no. <laughs> I watched. I've watched news of of uh, of of, of news. By, uh, Hear me out. Okay. Over ten cases that have been filed uh, in different courts in different states. Um, Trump has lost nine out of ten. Uh, one is still ongoing. As in the, the court has thrown them thrown them out uh, because they are not providing any substantive evidence that there is a coordinated. Is a, a coordinated uh, effort to steal the election. And number two, the question becomes, um, if indeed Biden was uh, stealing the election, so you want to tell me they were so careless to just steal the presidential election and leave out the Senate, uh, uh, the Senate, uh, uh, the Senate seats that were up for re-election, uh, essentially making him a useless president. If I'm going to steal an election, I'll do what Magufuli has done, steal the presidency and steal... <laughs> all the positions that are going to make me an effective president. So, um, yes, they are saying that there has been theft, but there is no uh, evidence that there has been a coordinated, widespread, um, Democratic Party-censored effort 
to rig the election. Because definitely there might be regularities. Even in Kenya, irregularities come up even when someone didn't necessarily do it uh, sent by the party. But are you saying dead people voting, that's an irregularity? Uh, and that's what I'm saying. My point is dead people, if dead people... And it's not dead like last month or last week. It's it, people died in the 80s. Let me... Let me, let me so my point is... <laughs> One seventy years. Old. You see, you see, Tito. <laughs> I'm saying, uh, there, and that's what that's what I was saying. Sometimes you might find that people do. Th- for example, let me give you an example. If if someone uh, uh, comes and stabs people in Kino, <laughs> I'm doing this on behalf uh, because Uhuru did the thing. You know. <laughs> so my my question my question becomes what's with you on this thing? <laughs> no, my question becomes <laughs> no no no. I'm asking. We cannot blame that on um on Uhuru. It's like for example the post election violence. You might find that some people were involved in that, not necessarily sent by the party or um uh encouraged by the party, but individual actions because of feeling party loyalty, because of feeling this and uh, that about uh, the process. So you might find that, and that's why the cases are being thrown out probably, because there is no evidence of a connection between the leadership of the Democratic Party and these seeming uh, voter irregularities. They might be there, but now linking them to um, the party uh, uh, is hard. And secondly, they are not rampant enough let me need, finish my point uh, let me okay. finish my point they're not rampant enough to to cl- to be claimed to have been uh censored by the party a coordinated national effort that's the point I'm, i am a supporter of trump but, and then the other question also that people are asking trump trump is having an issue trump is having an issue with mm. the fact that um some states as a, a counting ballots that came in after the deadline the election date uh, the election date but in states where is won where that is allowed because essentially if a stamp says I, this was sent uh you know within the time frame of an election yet it's delayed to get to the uh, uh, trialing station trump is uh, is against that but no in states where he has won there is no dispute for that so now the question becomes are we are they really following the law because if you're going to follow the law follow it across board my my concern with all this is um we are getting all this from the media and there's a very significant um where would you rather get it from the media from our prophet just listen there's a very significant uh group in the media that is so much against trump such that even if there are actual evidence it probably wouldn't make it to to, to the tv So I think I think we need we need to we also need to um check these bases that are in place. Do you think Because Fox, these bases are there? Do you think Fox News supports Trump? Well, I I, I don't know. It is true Fox is very pro Trump, but also we've seen them cutting off Trump's uh uh briefings and the uh, the the spokesperson of Trump uh, uh cutting him half off uh because she's spewing I, I don't say nonsense but is she spewing hearsay without facts because facts are very important lack of facts is very very dangerous especially coming from the highest office in the entire world it's very very dangerous for you to say such th- those kinds of things without concrete evidence and that is where i'm having a, an issue with trump i i supported this let me tell you i'm going to be very clear Personally, one of the reasons why, and, and, and maybe our listeners might be wondering why we are so much uh, pro-Trump, pro-American politics. Let me tell you why I think um, I supported Trump. No, Trump, you supported Trump. Yes. Trump is a vile for person. Honestly, Trump is not the kind of person you invite to your party. He's going to make people the hate coming to your party uh, uh, because you make everything about himself. And he, I can't finish the bad traits about Trump. But when it comes to trade and how he handled um he handles countries Trump doesn't believe in uh having trade discussions with blocks of people blocks of countries he wants individual countries Kenya we were in discussion with Trump for 
bilateral free trade area between Kenya and the United States would have brought very good opportunities for our country. Um, definitely, uh, uh, would have gotten also a lot of agricultural products coming from the United States. But it would have been a very good opportunity to even going to the United States and living there. United States would be it would be easier, and, and also the inverse of them coming also here. Like bilateral trade, a free trade area between the United States was going to be immensely good for our country. Tanzania and all these other countries, African community in African Union, was against this discussion because they felt Kenya is stabbing us in the back. We had an AGO agreement. AGO was now, I think, with Africa. AGO is going to expire. So uh, Trump was, uh, we are going to replace AGO with Kenya discussion so like why is kenya doing the thing like why are they uh, uh, going it alone <laughs> you know <laughs> why, are, why 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 are, are they going it alone instead of you know having a unified uh discussion that's going to be that's why i supported trump but honestly i do feel like um this rhetoric that he's spewing right now um is very dangerous you know i i honestly feel that what trump is doing right now is just what It's just in his, he's just in his um, alpha self. Like you, you can't just get something grabbed, snatched from right from under your nose. But <laughs> Tito, like it's, it's the, the margin thing. is too big. The magic, the it's, margin is too see, big. It's, it's the same to thing Raila has done here in Kenya. Raila, even when even when it's so clear, he just has to. He fight doesn't them. accept defeat, and that's that's a soul loser. That shows no, you. No, that's not a loser. No, that's a soul loser. That's, if you're that's not, not a loser. That's, you're how, not, that's how Trump became the billionaire he is. You see. I agree. People think Trump is an idiot. He is not. That's why me and you are not billionaires. We are trying to. That's why we have a podcast. You, you do not have become. You don't have a podcast because I, you're I rich. That more to you, more to you, than me. you, you, you don't have a podcast because you're rich. Uh, <laughs> Trump is um. He, he's, he's not a, a fool. He's very smart. He's a very sharp guy. Shrewd. Let's call it shrewd because shrewd. Uh, he's very intelligent. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Trump is shrewd. He might not be the most intelligent person, but he knows his way around business. He knows his way around economics, and he knows his way around making people play his game. He's very good at controlling people's he's very emotions, good at deals, <laughs> emotions, <laughs> and uh, 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 he's very good at controlling people's emotions. That is that is that is true. That is true about Trump. But I'm just saying that this rhetoric that he's spewing right now is very dangerous, coming from the highest office in the United, in the world. Very very dangerous. For me, I think. If uh, like the law allows it, right? Mm. If you feel there's a dispute in the election, you can take it to court. Mm -hmm. So the law allows it. Mm -hmm. If he feels he wants to take that nini, he wants okay, he wants to say I feel that the the election wasn't fair to me, he can take it to court. Mm -hmm. If it, it's a provision that is given, so it doesn't matter. Most of the time, the thing we are arguing is how things used to be done. Mm -hmm. But for him. He he doesn't care about convention. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's like if there's a chance, mm -hmm. maybe he's just drawing stuff ish on the wall and see what, uh, and he wants to see what will stick. But maybe if he gets something, it might. He's just trying. That's what I'm thinking. But if it's a provision, he can do it. So maybe until it happens or mm -hmm. it passes, there's mm -hmm. no point in arguing about it. He's just exercising his right. Mm -hmm. On a po uh, uh, something you had said earlier about your christian friend saying why you should support trump mm -hmm. maybe from what i've read in the bible is most people who even god chooses are not necessarily the best like role models we see in society i think if you if you had met jesus walking with akina peter you'd be surprised that these are his disciples because we, we read that peter is a very foul mouthed person it was it yeah Really? Yeah, they say he was a very full mouth mouthed person because of the kind of environment they were in. But again, you see, he's not the president of no, Israel. But but you see, <laughs> he's grooming him. he's grooming <laughs> them. Uh, uh, yeah, because mm. they're they're being groomed to be the people who will lead there. Mm. So it's, that's just even one example. Most people who you see God choosing, mm. I don't know how many people in the Bible can we definitively say this guy was a good person. Even the, during the time Jesus or God was choosing that person, very many people. It's very, very few. many people. Hmm? Very few. 
Adam Afsa <laughs> 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 was just thinking from the beginning was, and he, he was, was the pure. perfect one was, if, if you were, were supposed to vote for someone you'd mm. have voted for Adam mm. but he fell after <laughs> I'm saying still, from the beginning <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, so it's mm. at the end of the day is checking which side according to the kind of beliefs you have mm. which side will like help um or will help propagate or help um co- preserve the things you hold true to mm-hmm. you might say joy is a good person but you don't believe in abortion you don't believe in exactly yeah so still the the things that it's like is it the end justifies the means mm. sometimes you have to look at it in that way again you see uh, and and maybe there's the next thing we are going to usher into speaking about but let me just allude to it the thing is when you look at um a christian um a christian ideally should support the republican party and, and let me explain why i know so putting your mouth uh uh i'm saying that the fact that the, the republican party um upholds conservative views on most issues around abortion about lgbt around um uh, you know christianity in general trying to of course they they are uh, religious freedoms and that's what i told my friend that we're having the discussion with not yes trump might smell you know he might he might not be the most beautiful looking morally uh, president yes <laughs> a polished oh, no 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 okay he might not be the most crafted president for that role but at the end of the day the policies that he stands for the policies that his base is voting him for as opposed to the policies and the position that Biden and the Democratic Party stands for and the base is voting them for those things that their bases are going to hold them accountable to and make sure that they 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 uphold it would make sense for a christian then to to support a a, a, a conservative leaning president I, i think it only makes sense and so to me um as a christian I would say that um it made it sense that um Trump would be an obvious choice. And also back to the point you had said earlier on how America has a bigger influence in the scope of the whole world. So that happening there also will trickle down to this part because exactly. how influential mm. they are. Mm. Yes. So it's not pushing a lot of agendas yeah. to yeah. countries that Maybe we don't have any leverage when it comes to discussions mm, mm. but you're told do this so that we can do this other thing for you so you'll also be invested in a way that's why you're talking about it yeah, yeah. and uh, as we finish actually um you realize that also for black people uh, it was it was f- black people for the longest time have been um quote and quote enfranchised by the democratic party but at the same time disenfranchised by the same party because they are made to f- look and feel like the victims and therefore vote for us the democratic party because we commensurate with your slavery rhetoric we we feel sorry for you guys you see the republicans are the guys who are from the south the ones that uh, that uh, enslaved you guys whereas it was the democrats actually if you follow the american history who are slave owners uh but the that has caused black people to traditionally vote democratic uh but trump comes and tells them no forget that story let's forget slavery for a minute but let's try to see how we can empower you guys can we can we give you more jobs can we can we fund your historically black university hbcus uh can we can we uh, create an environment where um you um, you, you you grow um not just as a black person but as an american where where we try to shift your identity to align more uh with the american story as opposed to a system that is trying to push you to a cocoon of me and black and so these are my problems but if you can create an environment where 
for example now uh one of the things that really helped the black, the black people with employment is is the tax relief that he passed mm. creating more jobs for people not just for black people but everybody so that now we are enfranchising everybody in the american uh success story so to me that was very 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 critical and the fact that also that trickled down to our countries countries outside outside the, the united states where he says we are not going to give you aid but we are going to trade with you we are going to come up with policies that we become business partners as opposed to don donating partners and that was very very strong and and, and i really supported that so my parting shot um yes we have our bbi <laughs> so i know people our listeners may be saying we should focus on our bbi uh because we are not americans uh <laughs> but we are waiting for chalo chalo is our bbi guy bb guy uh so uh but anyway seriously uh american politics do affect us and i think it's important that we we kind of think uh at least think about them we might not actively uh, actively uh, engage and involve ourselves in them but at least thinking about them enables us to <clears throat> not be ignorant about the realities that are happening around us. Oh yeah, I think I agree with you. Um it's important to just have an understanding of what's happening in the most powerful country in the world for now. Um tunakuja. <laughs> oh, America, yeah, yeah, yeah. Afri- Africa is right. Yes. Here. We know our 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 economy is like half the economy of Nebraska. But <laughs> <laughs> not Nebraska. <laughs> I'm just, Nebraska. I'm just no, uh, not, uh, California. Uh, I think California, California is the sixth most okay, powerful okay. country in the world. Okay, okay. California okay. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. And it's a state of the United States. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but anyway, my, I think my parting shot is just to wish Trump all the best <laughs> as he fight uh, a losing battle. battle. Yeah. Yeah, but at least for me, there's uh, I'm, I'm 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 not worried even if Biden wins. He he's going to have a stressful time. So saddest match. I like what happened because for once especially for black Americans and many minority groups I saw for once there's a there's a move on their part to actually start questioning and thinking for themselves if for lack of a better word and actually It's like they're moving away from that identity of me being told that I'm being oppressed is what determines how I vote. So they're going more towards the the issues that I care for are what pushes me to vote for the person I want. So it's maybe it's a start, it's something we'll start seeing more and more of and I'm hopeful for the future. I hope Trump will run in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely will. And even if he doesn't run, I'm telling you Trump is going to be the kingmaker for a very long time in the Republican Party. Anyway, thank you so much for giving us your ears for the time that this episode will run for. I usually don't know how long it will be. Um but thank you so much for your time. Uh hope to see you next time. Bye. And if you agree or disagree with us, please hit us up at Kevin Moretti at Kev Moretti at Kev Moretti on Twitter. Tito 116 for me i don't like so being bullied on social media so <laughs> i live for that i breathe yeah. bullying yeah so yeah please hit us up if you, you think the stuff also stuff you want us to discuss more about um please talk to us yeah bye <laughs>